All right, to get the power wire from the control module back, I had to remove the back seat. And uh, let me tell you, these guys were a little tough. Uh, you're supposed to be able to just, I guess the trick is to just take the seat belt and push it in. I didn't really have any luck with that. I used a screwdriver and, and, and push them back, but I was able to get them out. Um, so they're about that far, <laughs> eight inches or so, a foot um, in. Well, pretty much just the left of that little pole right here. So that's kind of how you can eyeball it. Um, but yeah, I fought it a little bit to get it out because I, I need to pull the power um, from the control unit to the back right corner back there is where the battery is in here. So I'm getting ready to pull this seat out. Yeah. A couple bolts under there. Yeah, I think this guy right, right there. One on the other side. I'm going to pull that out real quick and then start running that wire. I guess look at, looking for layout. Alright, I know I'm not filming the pain, pain of the butt uh, bits. I, just, I tried the webcam mode filming what I was doing it just didn't turn out very good um but getting this back seat out was <laughs> actually a little more involved than I thought it would be um you got to get that foam piece off the top off it kind of bolts down to the top of the seat frame and the frame goes all the way around and you got to unbolt three bolts from or two bolts from across the top three bolts from the bottom and you can actually see it Right here, that black metal frame comes with it and like tilt seats, and there's the bottom bracket of the bottom right down there. I almost forgot about the seat. Uh, the trunk liner held it in, it wrapped around the, the bracket, um, or it had push pins into the bracket. Um, let's see if I can grab one these little guys um, sorry about the wide angle I just can't get much in the car here um, these Christmas tree kind of push pins they're a pain in the butt um, if you don't have these highly recommended um, the blue point I, I bought them at some point in the past for trim clips and all that but yeah you just kind of you know you get them underneath this is a bad example, but get them underneath that and spread it, and it'll pull the little, it'll pop the little Christmas tree out. Um, I don't even know. I'd hate to try it without that, um, but I didn't want to leave that out. Not that this is a seat removal tutorial, um, but I'm trying to kind of show the hard parts. Um, but yeah, I may remove this. Excuse my finger. Um, this here to see if I'm going to run, basically how I can get the power wire back to the battery uh, cleanest. I do want to clean that battery install up a little bit, see it's kind of like sitting, you know, the, the trunk liner, it's pulled over. Um, there's no trim, I have the trim. Um, I would like to try to put it back, I want to put the battery in a box. Uh, batteries are just ugly, um, and I want to vent it outside the trunk. Um, there's also, you can see that tail light behind the battery, there's an, there's a, it looks like no seal. Um, the cutoff switch had been put there in the tail light at some point also. Um, so I'm not sure if there's a, supposed to be a seal there or what. Um, some, you know, something else I'm going to look into. Um, it's very hard to see, but there's a wiring harness over that wheel well. I may try to pick that up and, and kind of follow that to the battery from, from everything for the Terminator. Um, you know, there's one that goes along the seat, and then it picks it up. So I'm not sure how long this is yet, but we're about to find out. All right, so there is the wire. I can't quite reach it to point it out, but it's the TechFlex 
right there. See, it goes to the battery. It's just laying on top of it. It's going over through here. And I, you could get this behind this panel here and just leave it flopping around. I'm not going to do that. Um, I want to get that fiberglass out of the way and at least zip tie it to the harness and then it, it looks like it's going to be fine falling under the back seat up over this and then down there um, under the carpet. I did remove the seat belt from down there and I removed this bracket just so I get the carpet up and see um, but it's not pulled too tight. I got some slack left in it. Um, and there's plenty of pigtail, or plenty of tail hanging out there. Um, so I do believe that's going to be the way I'm going to route it. Um, it did look like it was also long enough to go along the passenger side of the car and then across under the trunk to the battery, but I didn't like the way that looked. Um, this is kind of runs with another harness um, so I know it shouldn't get pinched or anything silly like that right, here's the wire um, I am going to be able to piggyback on that from down there um, yeah so it's going to work pretty well I'm going to zip tie it to that um, all I did since uh, all I did was remove a Christmas tree push pin from there and there, remove that fiberglass. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna route it tonight. Um, it's just far too hot in here. I get a good about I, I, get, I get about an hour <laughs> before I'm ready to ready to call it quits. Um, to get this panel off, you have to start with up here. There's like a little coat hanger uh, and the seatbelt. Uh, seatbelt bolts right here. Coat hanger is. I don't know somewhere like right there <laughs> um, pop that off and then there's another Christmas tree right there and that panel pulls off you have to pull the sill panel off a little plastic one off also um, again you could get that wire tucked back there if you didn't care about zip tying it um, I mean it's probably not going anywhere but I'm gonna secure it uh, all the way across uh, but again I just ran it through there it kind of goes that way and then back under there uh, over the little hump you know and then across here probably attach it with these old plastic clips you know like that um, yeah so it went pretty well um, there is a couple more ground wires I got to get back here. Um, I might just follow the same path uh, as that. But as it is now, this wire is just the stock wire that comes with the Terminator to power the control module. I did quickly want to talk about these two plugs. The CCRM was over here. The only thing I saved out of the CCRM ultimately was the fuel pump output. Um, I will go over this more in detail once I get the car on. I don't want to go too crazy with detail right now because if something got cut that or removed that I shouldn't have or doesn't work, I, I want to be sure before I start telling everybody pin numbers and wire locations. But right now I put these back, ran it through where it was before. I'm not sure if that is where it's supposed to be. Uh, you know, it comes out right here. Um, kind of goes up to the ABS sensor over and the grommet's loose right now with the terminator wiring going through there I don't want to put that back until I'm like basically done um, I do have to run from the outputs I have to get a connector from Holly to connect to that output harness and then I gotta run that back out through here to get to the fan to get to the nitrous solenoids um, stuff like that. So that's been a little bit of a hold up. I didn't 
think about it. Uh, I should have ordered it at the same time. Um, hopefully this helps somebody, you know, get that, get the little uh, connector. And when I get them, I'll put the power, I mean, I put the part number on it and everything on the video so you see. And I do plan on going over, once this is done, pens, um, locations of wiring I pulled out, you know, what pens these guys are. This is the coolant temp and oil pressure to the gauge if you want to keep your stock gauges. Um, but yeah, I don't want to go too far, you know, explaining this yet. Um, I want to get everything kind of turned on, make sure it works, and then I'll go over it more in detail. I um, just wanted to give a quick update on that. So somebody had asked me a question about why I hadn't go gone into that stuff. It's a lot of just me finding stuff and finding my way on this car. Um, but, you know, once everything works, I'll, I'll get a more detailed explanation out there. So hopefully that's very soon, depending on the weather. 